Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Slack in 2024. So whether you are a team administrator or an individual user, securing your Slack accounts with 2FA is a proactive step in safeguarding your sensitive information. So let's dive into the process of enabling the 2FA on Slack in 2024. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply Let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and sign in to your Slack account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in our case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the CRL section, type slack.com, and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Slack right away. Of course, if it's your first time on Slack, you'll find yourself on a page like this. So make sure to go and click on sign up with email or sign up with Google if you don't have an account. Of course, if you use it with Google, that will prevent you from doing all the boring steps or entering all the information by your own, which it will be pretty fast. And if you have an account, click on sign in and make sure to sign in into your account. You can even sign in again with Google or Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in into your account. So for me, as an example, I'm logged in, so I'll basically just go into that. And of course, use Slack and browser. And of course, if you have the app, it's going to be the same. You will have just to go and access that app. So if you have, of course, Slack on your desktop, since I don't have it, I'll just tell you how to do it. You'll have to go to your workspace name in the sidebar, select tools and settings from the menu, then click on workspace settings. Click authentication. Then next to, uh, to two-factor authentication for your workspace 2FA, click on expand and click on enable the 2FA for your workspace and you will be able to do it without any problem. Of course, if you are in the websites like me uh, or using it in the browser like this and here, what should you do? Basically, you will have to and go and try to access your settings first of all. To do so, go to your company name, as you can see, at the top left corner here. Go and click on that, then go and click on Tools and Settings. Here, make sure to go and choose the Workspace Settings. Once you do so, you will find yourself on a place like this. Here, make sure to go into Authentication. Once you click on this Authentication, as you can see, they have this method of configuring Authentication method, but this will require Pro. If you want Google App Authentication, this will upgrade uh, to enable sign-in in with a Google account and Azure, and of course, this AML uh, authentication, which will include Azure, Okta, and OneLogin, or your custom SAML 2.0 solution. It's only available on the Business Plus plan. So make sure to go and upgrade the plan if you want to get one of those. For us, in this video, what we want is simply this two-factor authentication for your workspace. So require each user to configure and use two-factor authentication for signing in. Click on expand, and as you can see, would you like to enable the two-factor authentication for the whole workspace? If you want, click on activate two-factor authentication for my workspace. Once you do so, you will have first of all, of course, to enter your password. So simply just go and enter that password as an example. Wait, I don't know why I cannot type anymore. Let me just go back to authentication. And here, go back in here, expand, active, and yeah, let's see. Okay, so I just disabled that. Okay, I understand. So it should be like this, and click on confirm password. The password is incorrect. Let me just go and type it again. Like that. Still incorrect. Let me try this one. And okay, I'll try the last one in here. So it seems like not correct. Let me just go and recreate the password, or reset the password, because it seems like I forgot the password. So they link me an email uh, link, of course. I'll just go to my email provider, go to Slack, choose a new password. And here, of course, I'll just type this new password by the way. Simply like that. And click on change my password. Once it changes, so it seems like it changed. Now I'll have to go back in here, type this password right here, click on confirm password, and confirm your password to continue. So I'll just go and confirm it. 
and click on confirm password. Seems like I have to confirm it again. So let's just go and confirm it for the last time. So I guess they have a problem. Let me just go and refresh the page just in case and go again to authentication. No, so not profiles, authentication. Go here, expand, activate. Yeah, so I'll have them to click on activate. And as you can see, once I do so, Swiss Factor authentication for your workspace is uh, will be required on tomorrow due through this date. So they give you one day to activate it. And of course you can always disable it and it will be disabled. And if you want to activate it, as you can see, kudos on keeping your workspace account safe and secure with two-factor notification. If you want to understand what is that, just click on it. All members, including yourself, who do not have two-factor notification currently enabled will receive a Slack bot notification and an email advising them to get set up. Members who do not enable the two-factor notification within 24 hours will be automatically logged out and prompted to set up authentication before logging in again. New members will also require to set up two-factor authentication before logging in into Slack. So as you can see, this is the message that they will receive. You can, of course, customize it as an example if you want to write your own message. So as an example, just type, make sure to active 2 of A or you will be all log, so logged off and you can't sign in without this example. So as simple as that, you can write that, then click on active and it will be activated and nobody will be able to log into their account without the 2FA, including you. Of course, if you want to disable it always, just go back to your authentication, click on expand this and click on disable and you will be good to go. It will be disabled without any problems. So there you have it. You successfully enabled the 2FA or two-factor authentication on your Slack account, enhancing the security of your communication and data. With 2FA in place, you can enjoy peace of mind knowing that your Slack account is better protected against any unauthorized access. So stay secure and happy slacking. And if you have a question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do this as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching again and goodbye.